Yesterday, I talked about how God loves you. And today, I'm going to talk about what you must do. You must love not only yourself, but also others in your life. It is one of the basic and original tenets of Christianity. What Jesus taught to love your enemies and pray for those that persecute you. This is a divine idea that brings into vital living action when we remember that Christ indwells us and because of that we can express the peace and the freedom and the forgiveness of Christ right where we are in every situation. Jesus was the perfect expression of divine love. And Jesus showed us and taught us the way of forgiveness, the way to live in harmony with any thought or action or person. And as we express the peace and the freedom of Christ, it becomes easier for us to totally forgive any person or any real or imagined wrong. And oh boy, so many times from human mind, it is an imagined wrong. In face of criticism or slights, we're able to move surely forward into forgiveness. We're able to free ourselves to expect and to practice in our life understanding, acceptance, and harmony with ourselves and with all of our friends and strangers even, all of our relationships. Through Christ, we are able to express love. Through Christ, we are able to express peace. Through Christ, we are able to express freedom. Through Christ, we are able to express forgiveness. Do you recall in the Bible where it says this? Be kind to one another. Forgiving one another as God in Christ forgave you. Ephesians 4.32 So we decide this day to follow Jesus to love our enemies, and to pray constantly for others. We will express the peace and the freedom and the forgiveness of Christ.